Hello, everyone. My name is Ge Yang, and I come from Harbin Institute of Technology. It is my great honor to be here and share my work with all of you. The title of this paper is "Fire Simulation and Optimal Evacuation Based on Beam Technology." Taking a school teaching building as an example, the main contribution of this paper is proposing an advanced fire simulation and evacuation optimization approach. A fire combustion model combining beam technology and the fire simulation software is established. Focusing on the complex spread characteristics of fire and analysis and optimization of emergency ev evacuation, it provides suggestions for the fire drill and emergency evacuation of the school teaching building, and can be extended to other large buildings. With the rapid development of social economy. Coupled with the breakthrough of building technology, buildings are developing towards high-rise and large scale, which bring a new challenge to fire safety. In the past five years, there were 1,423,000 fires in China, causing 142,000 casualties. Since the 1990s, the number of building fires in China has accounted. For more than 75 percent of the total number of fires, and the number of deaths and direct property losses caused by them accounted for 90 percent and 85 percent, respectively. So, fire simulation and evacuation analysis are two key problems to be solved. The the first result of this paper. Is fire combustion modeling, temperature and fire spread speed are two important elements in fire simulation. In order to get a temperature change around the fire source for the accurate simulation of fire evacuation, we assume that the fire is caused by from plastic burning substance and occurs in the chair of the teacher's office, and the heat. Release rate of the fire is increasing, given as follows. Considering that the combustible material is from plastic, the fire resource is set as a fast fire. The table shows the growth coefficient of heat release rate of different combust combustibles in fire, and we take the coefficient of rapid fire of the fire growth. In order to simulate the real fire evacuation, the fire combustion time is first set as 250 seconds. Here we set the heat release rate to the combustion heat release rate at the beginning of the time of the fire. Taking a teaching building as an example, two evacuation. Passageways with different directions are considered, accounting to the relevant design specifications. When the roof height of the public area is lower than six meters, the straight line distance from all locations in public area to the nearest evacuation exit should be less than the longest evacuation length of 40 meters. When the average height in the In the area is not less than 20 meters; it is 90 meters. In other cases, it should be it should not be greater than six, 60 meters. Considering the changes of the number of people in teaching building during recess, school and after school, the number of evacuees is set as 1,700. Parsim software is used to send the evacuation personnel. Different from the adoption of the traditional soft software of FDS or EVAC, much unnecessary work can be avoided, and the evacuation simulation of a five-story teaching building will be carried out. And then we can get the simulation results. 
Fig. 1 shows the teaching building model established by BIM technology in this paper. The structure and data of building can be got. Fig. 2 shows the room distribution on the first floor of the teaching building, and the other floors are similar. For the given picture, it describes the smoke height change with the time. During 20 seconds and 40 seconds, the height of smoke is high to almost 70% and the people have time to run out of the building. After 50 seconds, the height of smoke is very low to about 30% and it is dangerous for the people in the building. As the fire happens, it spreads about um, 53 seconds for the room temperature to 100 degree, while the time of, for the position of 1 meter over the ground is about 71 seconds. However, it should be noted that with the increase of the height, the time for the position of 2 meters over the ground is about 76 seconds. But the temperature vibrates around 100 degrees due to the local hot air upward and downward. In the flowing, we further investigate the evacuation path when the fire of the building happens. Here we take the classroom 201 as an example to simulate the, in, the ignition point and uh, assume the stairs are the only entrance and exit of the evacuation pass. The information of temperature and the visibility of smoke is selected for the analysis and the optimization of evacuation pass. Based on the setting before, we can use the software of Parasim to simulate the fire combustion concerning the, the flu gas and different evacuation paths. Taking 1.8 meters as a, as a smoke hazard height determination point, the figure illustrates the spreading process of the four evacuation paths, left staircase, middle left staircase, right staircase, and middle right staircase. The time of smoke teach, uh, reaching the 1.8 meter hazard height of the four cases can be got from simulation as 10 seconds. 25 seconds, 250 seconds, and 300 seconds, respectively, which is important for the people to have enough time to escape the building after the fire happens. Focused on the temperature change at the left staircase, it is important for the people to escape from this exit. In the following, Four cases of the temperature change are considered around ground, one meter over the ground, two meters over the ground, and three meters over the ground. As an increase of the height, it is a fact that the temperature will increase due to the local hot air upward. Meanwhile, as the increase of the time, the temperature will get slow. Similarly, the temperature change at the middle left staircase is uh, investigated and given above, still taking the four positions around the ground, one meter over the, over the ground, two meters over the ground, and three meters over the ground. In the following simulations of the left two cases concerning the temperature changes around the middle right staircase and the right staircase are given briefly. To be concluded, an, a novel approach concerning the dynamic simulation of fire combustion um, and, evac and evacuation optimization is proposed based on the technology of BIM and Parasim. Taking a teaching building as an example, the temperature and smoke height are two key factors affecting the evacuation of people in the building. Therefore, the two par parameters are investigated around every entrance and exit under typical fireplaces. By setting different cell cables, it also guides the optimal choice of evacuation paths for the people in the building. Finally, I will say thank you to all of you